Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel today. Today I'm sharing a video of a collaboration that I did with Kathleen over at Cause Creations and her Patreon group. She does a monthly challenge and she actually asked me this month to pick the colors and techniques um, for the challenge as you can see in that image I posted there at the beginning of the video. So we were challenged to use four of the colors in the image, at least one texture, and do um, a little brush work. So here I am doing a flip cup. I didn't show where I layered my cup there. I'll put all the um, information down in my description box. But I did a flip cup and I'm just letting this roll out with my really rich pink tones here. And my idea was to do um, some kind of a landscape. So this is gonna be my sky portion with my puffy clouds. And as always, when you do a project, you have in mind what you think you wanna do and you are just trying so hard to get there. And I kinda of botched this one a little bit, but they all can't be perfect. And sometimes we have to share our challenges and fails along the way in the hopes that it helps somebody else with their learning process and journey. So as you can see here, I'm doing some tilting to tilt off the additional paint and to work with my composition. But now I'm gonna hush up for a minute and let y'all just watch and I'll pop back in in a little bit. I'm going to add a little more color down there at the bottom. I wanted it to be darker at my horizon line. Now that I've poured my extra colors down there at the bottom, I'm gonna take my paper towel and I'm just gonna swipe over that to blend that in and try to get the same look as the top portion where I did the flip cup. taken a smaller cut of paper towel and I have actually dipped it in some paint mix with Australian Floetrol and the reaction there will cause a more cloudy look like the upper portion of the painting and doesn't look so disjunct. I'm going to take my torch and pop some of these air bubbles and do some more tilting to pour a little more of this paint off and to get my composition the way I want it. I let that sit overnight to dry and now I wanted to make a landscape here but I didn't want it just flat. I wanted kind of a rolling hill look. So I took a piece of my painter's tape and I cut the bottom edge in kind of a random scalloped pattern and put it on my canvas so that when the paint adheres, it will be in that form. And I did do this, then let it dry overnight again before I peeled that off. So I'm going in here just like I would with my other landscape pores, just laying down my colors in a ribbon fashion, and I will swipe over that. As a reminder, all my recipes, colors, um, any other specifics are down in my description box. And while you're down there, if you don't care, just give me the thumbs up, subscribe, uh, feel free to leave a comment, share. That helps um, with all of the algorithms and YouTube will promote the video more if I have more of those things. 
Guys, I have got a ton of paint on this canvas. Um, you do not need this much. So what I'm doing is I'm what I call heavy swiping. So as I am dragging my paper towel across my canvas, I am letting a lot of that paper towel drag and pull that paint over to the side and then I'm even letting it drip off into my slop cup there so that I can reuse it. When I start tilting it off, you'll see just how much I used. I think I was having kind of a distracted painting day and um, was uh, just letting things flow a little too much. Now I'm gonna take my palette knife and gently dip it in my paint. And I'm gonna add just some color dimension in this. I wanna um, add a little more darkness up in the top and some light color variation down there in the bottom. It's hard to tell what I'm swiping with here, but that was a TLP in that gorgeous black forest. I let that sit overnight and then I have pulled off the painter's tape and I've got this nice scalloped edge on my landscape there and it bled just a little bit but we're going to cover up that area with this overpainting. So now I'm taking some heavy body acrylic paint and I'm going to attempt to do some trees. I've taken my palette knife in the paint and now I'm putting a line down my canvas to serve as the trunk of my tree and a way for me to center my branches. I've taken a fan brush here and I'm loading the paint into my brush. And so when I do that, I flip the brush over, load on one side, flip it again, going back and forth until I get that pointed chisel edge that I just showed you. So I take the edge of the brush and I go down and the farther I go down, I turn the brush kind of to the center. My paint is a little bit thin here, so you can see I'm starting to struggle and it's a little light. So I am going to add some gel medium into it to thicken it up. And you can see my thickness there. I darken my color as well and I'm gonna go back in and pounce it. I am new to this technique, so bear with me as I do it here. I added a little more black into my green paint to deepen it a little bit, and it also gives it depth. 
So we're just gonna pounce these in and do a couple more trees. By adding that heavy gel medium to the paint, we're also getting the texture element of the challenge. It's hard to see here, but because I chose the heavy one, it is leaving um, this kind of raised look to my trees. So it kind of pops them off the canvas a little bit. Guys, I really appreciate you joining me on this learning and creative journey. Art is just really healing. And I'm not an artist. I'm just a mom who loves to be creative. And in the past few years, I have really tried to change the priorities in my life. And that means making myself a priority too. As a stay-at-home mom and wife, I was always putting everyone else first. And I was getting to the point where I was rather depleted. We also had a death in the family and I was suffering from some anxiety and some other issues that were happening. And I just really got lost, but I found fluid art somewhere along the way, and that really helped me get on the path back to myself. All of this to kind of say, no, I'm not perfect, but I'm learning, and I'm enjoying myself every step of the way. I hope that you too can find something that brings joy to you and bring healthy and positive energy into your life. Well, I sure didn't know that I was gonna end up on my Southern Soapbox here, but I just wanted to share that with you all. And speaking of sharing, if you'll go down in that description box, I've got a playlist to everyone that's in this collaboration. And if you just follow that through, we've got a lot of people here who have uh, accepted the challenge and uh, just some really amazing artists that are participating in this one. And if you could just follow through, give them all a little thumbs up and subscribe. And once again, I can't say it enough, I appreciate you being with me on this new journey. Woo, it got deep for a minute there, didn't it? About to go in with a liner brush, and I'm just gonna add some little birds in here just to give your eye something else to land on. And uh, they're just a little quick flip of your brush, easy peasy. Since I'm still learning, I decided to do a second painting and I wanted to show you that picture here. This gave me the opportunity to do some more of these pink pours and to also work on those trees. Thanks for watching our collaboration today, everyone. Be sure and check that description box. Follow along the train and I'll see you next time down on the canvas.